G'day, today I'm going to show you the fastest way of multiplying two big numbers like these together using only a pen and paper. And what's more, I can guarantee you this is going to be a much simpler and much quicker way than you've ever learnt in school. So let me show you with our example here. 3,124 multiplied by 2,152. Now just a quick explanation before we start. If you're like me, remembering back to when you learned how to do long multiplication at school, well it was just like that, it was long. In this case, first off, you'd go through and work out 3,124 multiplied by 2, and you'd write your answer down. Then you'd go 3,124 multiplied by 50, and write that answer underneath. Then you'd work out 3,124 multiplied by 100, and write that answer underneath that. Then you'd work out 3,124 multiplied by 2,000, and write that answer underneath that. And then finally, you'd add all your answers together to get your final answer. And as you can see, this takes a fair while. It's a pretty long process. Well, here's the champion move. You can do all this much faster by a simple modification of the way you were taught, where we work out each part of our answer directly by following a simple pattern. So let me show you with our example here. 3,124 multiplied by 2,152. So to get the first part of our answer, we're simply going to multiply the two leftmost numbers. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. To get the next digit, we're going to start with some cross multiplication pattern here. And you're going to notice this pattern extends as we go along. First off, we have 3 times 1 and 1 times 2. And we're going to add these together. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. To get the next digit, we're going to extend our cross multiplication pattern. We have 3 times 5, 2 times 2, and 1 times 1. And we add all these together. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 2 is 4. So we add that and we get 19 plus 1 is 20. And we write this in as follows. Now we extend our cross multiplication further. We have 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 1 times 5, 2 times 1, and we add all these together. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 8 is going to be 14, plus 5 is going to be 19, plus 2 is going to be 21. So we just write that in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start diminishing our cross multiplication pattern. We have 1 times 2, 4 times 1, and 2 times 5, and we add these together. So we have 2 plus 4, which is 6, plus 10, which is 16. So I'll just write that in. Diminish a bit further, we have 2 times 2, 4 times 5, so 4 plus 20 is 24. And then finally, we have the rightmost numbers here, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Now we've pretty much got our answer here, we just need to finally go through and add all this up. So we have 8, 4, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 plus 0 is equal to 2, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, and that 6 carries down, we have our answer, 6,722,848. So how's that? That is the easiest way of multiplying big numbers like these using a pen and paper, right? And with a little practice, a couple of these, you'll be doing these no problem. So what about a couple of these that you can do right now? So here's a couple of examples for you. We have 4,321 multiplied by 1,235. And after this, make it a little bit harder. See if you can spot the modification, how you're going to do this. 432 multiplied by 3,124. And I'm going to show you how to do that modification when I go through the answers. So pause the video and give these a go. By the way, if you like this trick, maybe you currently use it or maybe you've just learned it. Well, don't just sit there staring at the like button. What about you hit down hard on it and subscribe for more math tricks? And just to shake things up a little bit, if this video gets enough likes, this time I'm going to go a bit higher. And yes, I've not forgotten that song I've got to sing. If we get 5,000 likes on this video in one week, I'll go through and tell you my five favorite math jokes. And put in the comments, maybe you've got a couple of math jokes that you want to run through. That'd be awesome. All right, sound enticing? Well, you've had enough time. Let's have a look at the answers here. So we have 4,321 multiplied by 1,235. Now, first off, we have 4 times 1, which is equal to 4. Now we're going to go 4 times 2 plus 3 times 1. So 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. We have 4 times 3, 2 times 1, 3 times 2. So 12 plus 2 is 14 plus 6 is 20. So we're going to write that in like that. Now we have 4 times 5, 1 times 1, 3 times 3, 2 times 2. So we have 20, 21, we have 30, 34. 
So we'll put that in. Now we have three times five and one times two and two times three. So 15, 17, we have 23. Now we have two times five and one times three. So 10 plus three is 13. And then finally, we have one times five, which is five. So let's go through and put our final answer here. We have a five, we have a three, we have a four, we have a six, we have a three, we have a three, and we have a five. We have our answer, 5,336,435. All right, how'd you go on that? Hopefully pretty well. What about we have a look at this next question here? We have 432 multiplied by 3,124. Now, you're going to see this trick straight away when I do it, and you're going to go, ah, oh, okay, so get ready to groan. I put a zero just there. Now let's go through and work this out. So we have zero times three. Well, we don't really have to do anything because we're going to get zero. Now we have four times three and one times zero. So four times three is equal to 12. And I'm just going to write that in as a 12 there. Next, we have zero times two, four times one, three times three. So we don't really need to worry about the four times one and the three times three. Four plus nine is equal to 13. Now we have zero times four. We're not going to worry about two times three, four times two, and three times one. So we have six plus eight, which is 14, plus three, which is 17. So now moving along, we have four times four, two times one, three times two. So four times four is 16, plus two is 18, plus six is going to be 24. We have three times four and two times two, so we have 12 plus four, which is gonna be 16. And finally, we have two times four, which is equal to eight. So now we can follow through with our final answer. We have an eight, we have a six, we have one plus four, which is equal to five. We have two plus seven, which is equal to nine. We have one plus three, which is equal to four. One plus two is equal to three. And this one carries down. We have our answer there, which is 1,349,568. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. Do you want some more math tricks? We have plenty of them here at the Tech Math channel, so check out the links in the description below. Hopefully you like that shortcut. It's nice and easy, right? Just follow that pattern and you'll be right. As usual, if you like this trick, don't just sit there looking at the like button. Poke the like button, love the like button, ask the like button out on a date, and then tell it what you feel about it, and then leave me a comment telling me what you thought about it and how the like button broke your heart. A big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.